Hey Dazzlers, welcome back to my channel. As always, I hope that you are both safe and doing well. It's been about a month since my last video and I've missed you guys. I took a short vacation and I spent the rest of the time renovating my partially finished basement. In today's video, I share with you what I've completed so far. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. Here's what my basement looked like. As you can see, the previous owner used it as a man cave. My husband and I purchased this home about seven years ago, but we haven't really utilized this space. But that's all about to change. Our basement has two brick accent walls. I've already painted one of those walls black, but here's the original brick color. One of the best things about this space is the recessed lighting. This lighting goes throughout this area as well as the hallway. I love it and this is one of the very few things that will remain the same. Remember, this is only a partially finished basement, and while the walls are painted in this area, the floor is still bare, and on the opposite side, there's still framing and insulation exposed. So the first thing I did was hire a local drywall company to help put up the drywall for this bedroom, as well as a bathroom, and what will be my new home office. I intentionally chose a local small business for this work and it did a great job. Here are a few pictures along the way. Less than two weeks later, my drywall was up, primed, and ready for painting. I'm doing the rest of the renovation work myself. To paint the space, I'm using Valspar Signature Satin Paint in the colors Cream in My Coffee and Pure White. As you can imagine, there was quite a bit of painting to do, so I did invest in a small paint sprayer that I picked up from my local hardware store. I enlisted several family members to assist me with painting. We used the sprayer as much as possible, but we also used paint rollers where it made sense. For my floors, I wanted an easy and inexpensive option, so I decided to go with pill and stick vinyl tiles. I ended up going with the slightly warmer color to the right, which was the Oyster Travertine. I'm using this towel in all of the areas except for the bedroom and the office. Installing pill and stick towels is as easy as it sounds. I did not add grout, but I did add some additional multi-purpose primer to give the towels a really good stick onto the concrete floor. There are already tons of YouTube videos on how to properly paint and install pill and stick vinyl tile with or without grout, so I won't include that footage here. But here are my final results.
as you can see, I've already installed a projector screen directly across from my black accent wall. The rest of my furniture are inexpensive pieces that I purchased from Amazon. I'll leave a link to where I purchased most of these items in the description box below. This small all black dinette table and storage cabinet were fairly easy to put together. If this table were on the main level, I would have changed the chairs, but for this space that won't get much use, I think that this inexpensive table set is perfect. The vases and wall art are simply items that I already had at home. To add a bit of comfort to this space, I've decided to add a reclining love seat and chair that I picked up on sale. I'd love to add more black and gold accent pieces to this space, but I found it difficult to find anything in my local home decor stores. That said, over the next several weeks, I'll be DIYing several accent pieces specifically for this space. I think that my basement project is coming along great, but what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear from you. I have so much more planned for this space and I'm excited to share that with you, including the bedroom office and the bathroom areas as well. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If so, please like, comment, and share. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and be sure to turn on your notifications so that you don't miss my next video. I'm excited to be back. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, Dazzlers, bye.